I'm going to take you now to the world of the Tennessee Walking Horse Breeders and Exhibitors Association. And they want to welcome you to the 2010 Equine Extravaganza. Today, we hope not only to entertain you, but also to share some knowledge about the Tennessee Walking Horse. And additionally, we'd like to invite you to stop by the booth and learn more about our amazing breed. Our first racking horse team is Jackie Cohen and Jackie's Frosty Gatsby. Now Gatsby is 23 and the best trail partner anyone could ever ask for. Fun, spirited, playful, still strong as ever. He was retired from the show ring in 07 at the NWHA Finals held in Murfreesboro, Tennessee as the trail racking champion winning both English and Western divisions. Jackie and Gatsby uh, give back to the community via Cut Star Mounted Search and Rescue, serving the Mid-Atlantic region. Many of their missions to find lost people are in Virginia State and National Parks. In Jackie's words, my best friend and partner has opened more new doors to my life. My friendships, new opportunities, and chances to give back to the community. Our other racking horse team is Ann McFarland, the next files, AKA Winston. Winston is a 13 year old registered Tennessee walking horse and is also registered spotted saddle and racking horse. Winston is a good trail horse as well as a, a show horse. You know, he's now doing some dressage work and beginning with some trail obstacle work. He also goes very well under side saddle. Was the 2008 National Walking Horse Association Spotted Saddle Horse Light Shot National Champion and in 09 won many regional championships and reserves in the NWHA Region 1, 2, and 3. Winston was this year's Reserve National Grand Champion in Country Pleasure Racking Division. Now the rack is a four-beat gait, smooth riding. Now what makes it different from the running walk-up? Less overstride of the lack of head shape. A lot of racking horses will exhibit more hot action. How about a big thank you to Jackie and Anne. Now, Gold Southern Bell is a 10-year-old mare owned by Steve and Sharon Rice in Shadowfax Farm in Bealeton, Virginia. Bell is a three-time national grand champion and also a three-time reserve national grand champion in the Plantation Pleasure Division. She is a two-time High Point model champion for the National Walking Horse Association. Bell, Sharon, and Steve have been a team for the last seven years. Bell is now being shown in the light shot division in both two and three gated classes. This year, Bell added another title to her belt, winning the national grand championship in the light shot youth rider two gate with Jessica Perry up in the saddle. Thank you, Jessica. Bell has also started showing the Western division where she and Jessica again brought home a blue. You know, the light shot horse should perform the true walking gates in a relaxed fashion with alert and willing attitude. The gait should be of a true four-beat walking gait with a pronounced cadence, head nod, and more animation and action. Our plantation pleasure horse is Carbon's Triple Coin, nicknamed Scooter. Scooter is a four-year-old gelding owned by Steve and Sharon Rice of Shadowfax Farm. Scooter just started his show career this season and has done very well. At his first two shows, he won the Plantation Pleasure Championships. At this year's National Championship show, he took third in the championship class. He enjoys riding on the farm next door and getting a drink from the lake. Now, 
The Plantation Pleasure Horse is our ultimate show horse. It should display brilliance, show presence while performing true walking gates. The Plantation Horse should display a true four-beat walking gait and pronounced cadence and head nod. Animation, action. The horse should be well balanced, both front and back. Now, to describe some gates for you, we are first going to do the flat walk. Now, the flat walk is a brisk reaching walk that can cover four to eight miles an hour. It is a four-cornered gait with each of the horse's feet hitting the ground separately at regular intervals. The horse will stride over the track left behind the front foot with its hind foot. This action of back foot stepping over the front track is known as overstride. Overstride is, un is unique to the walking horse breed. From behind the hocks should only show forward motion. The Tennessee walking horse will also nod his head in rhythm to the cadence of his feet, which sort of gives way to that old saying, if he ain't nodding, he ain't walking. And now the running walk. Now the running walk is a gait that makes the walking horse unique from other breeds. This extra smooth gait is basically the same as the flat walk, but with a noticeable difference in rate of speed between the two gates. The breed can travel 10 to 20 miles an hour at the running walk. As the speed is increased, the horse should increase the overstride, continue to nod its head in time with a cadence and footfall. The increase in overstride is the motion that gives the rider a feeling of gliding along on the air. And now the rack. We sometimes call the racking horse the first cousin of the walking horse. In fact, most racking horses are double registered as walking and racking. As stated earlier, the rack is a smooth four-beat gait. You know, we could go into the footfall and suspensions of the feet of the racking horse, but the easiest way to explain it is to compare it to the running walk. I know this arena is a bit small, or we would definitely have you racking on, unless you feel up to the challenge. And now there's another gate with the Tennessee Walkers. It is called the Canter. And yes, Tennessee Walking Horses do canter. It's performed much the same way of other breeds. It's a true three-beat gate. But the Walking Horse seems to have a more relaxed way of doing it. A little uh, easy forward movement gives the one a feeling of abundance of ease and rhythm. It's been said it is truly a rocking chair ride or the walkers are said to have that rocking chair canter. And this is something that the walking horses have been noted for, that wonderful, smooth canter. How about a big thank you to all of our wonderful walking horses in this presentation today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and walking horses. Be sure and go back and visit with them in the barns or uh, around the grounds at Booths of the Light. Another thank you to the walking horses. Well, we're going to bring you next. All right, the, the uh, walking horses are down in ring four at 615, and they're doing a presentation on gates, gates, and more gates, and that's in arena four. If you want to learn a lot more about the walking horses, that's where they're going to be as soon as we're done with this presentation here.